Hello, it's Plus Reports, where we bring you some of the stories and events that made the news recently. And just in case you missed out on some of them, don't worry, we've got you covered in this edition. Welcome, I'm Jacinta Obiuku. Poor leadership, lack of maintenance policy, attitudinal problem and corruption are identified, among others, as the major causes of poor maintenance. And consequently, you see some buildings like government structures at the verge of collapsing, abandoned factory plants and machinery. In this case is the transportation system where commuters in Lagos State have lamented the poor services rendered on the Bus Rapid Transit BRT. In the quest to know why, we spoke to the managing director of a private sector in charge of the BRT services in some areas of the city. He revealed that they actually turn off the air conditioning system in BRT to save cost. Take a listen. Public transportation is the backbone of any economy as people need to move from one point to another. But there is an issue of poor maintenance culture an attitude that is deep-seated and has affected the quality of public property, like the bus rapid transit BRT in Lagos. Commuters make bitter complaints ranging from faulty air conditioner, unkempt buses, delay in loading to limited number of buses for busy routes. At the very beginning, the buses were you know, neat, everything was well taken care of. Um, but now we have cases like just the other day I was like on my way home and somebody threw up in the bus. Then we asked for a broom or something to clean it. At first we asked for any hand available to come and clean and they said there was nobody available. The way they pack us, like say we are sanding, no AC. The population of the people standing is heavier than the population of the people sitting down. Sometimes say, you see some uh, captain doing conny conny, you come late, they will make sure, say, the one that come late, if you tip them, they will bring that person to the front. Occasionally, the bus is supposed to be subjected to routine maintenance and all those things. Theirs is just to collect money. People happy, just run it initial time. At that initial, this thing, people were enjoying it. The, the, today, it's nothing to write home about. It's dirty. The ACs are not working. They don't even care about the passengers. Look at this uh, BLT. No, no committee. No institution, no personality have been appointed to say that, look, you are responsible for the maintenance of these vehicles. For Latunubu is in the private sector. He runs a partnership with the Lagos State Government, overseeing BRT services plying Ikurudu to Tafawa Belewa Square. He said it is expensive to give commuters the required services as maintenance costs a fortune. Everybody wants a clean bus. They want AC to work. They want the uh, Wi-Fi to work. They want everything to work. If we want a world-class service, it's not rocket science. But if you don't have money to pay, what do you do? Every time you go out of the country and you see all these shiny buses, all these, somebody's paying for it. But in Nigeria, it seems we want to have our cake and eat it at the same time. It's not possible. The ACE is actually working. But because to save costs, we have to turn you know we have to turn them off. He is aware of the challenges, but wants the government to invest more in good transportation in order to be able to oil the economy from the sector. The Lagos State government is trying, but the federal government must come to the you know to the table because whatever happens in Lagos affects the whole of Nigeria. Until we start telling ourselves the truth, we're just deluding ourselves. We are like ostrich burner. There's a reason why everybody all over the world, public transport is subsidized all over the world. It's only in Nigeria we're trying to make it break even. The bus rapid transit BRT in Lagos launched in March 2008 was meant to provide Lagos commuters with a clean, affordable and reliable means of getting around the city. 
its launch pushed the long stay of these vehicles known as Molwe, which became a nightmare for commuters. The introduction of the BRT by the government was also to make a sound statement about improving the outlook of the mega city. Years down the line, the pride of the BRT is gradually fading away if no attention is paid to it by its handlers. On security, the House of Representatives have called on the federal government to provide body cameras to be attached to the officers and men of security agencies in Nigeria. They also want situation rooms across the country to monitor the activities. The body cameras, the House argued, will help checkmate cases of abuse of power and human rights. What do you think? Over the years, there have been concerns about allegations of harassment, extortion, and extrajudicial killings of citizens by security operatives. These often result in reprisals and uprising by the citizens. The House is convinced that security operatives ought to wear body cameras in order to have picture and video evidence of the activities. The Green Chamber is cognizant that the body cameras will keep the security operatives in check. The House is therefore concerned about all allegations of harassment, extortion, and extrajudicial killings of citizens by security operatives, which often result in reprisal and uprising by the citizen. The House is therefore convinced that the security operatives, who often express litigious scrutiny over their conduct in the discharge of their duties, ought to wear body cameras in order to have picture and video evidence of their activities. While the idea of security agents wearing body cameras is laudable, funding is also of the essence. Well, Mr. Speaker, the problem we are having with coming up with motions of this nature, sir, we will complain in that uh, some of these motions are not being implemented by the executive. I can assure you, Mr. Speaker, at the moment, the security agencies are even, we are worried that they should even have normal kittings. They are not even here to get the normal uniforms to go for, to conduct uh, some of their operations. Now, by the time you add the issue of the most use body cameras, it's very likely that this may not get, come our way. The House is hopeful that police body cameras may provide the best evidence, but there's need for a much better regulation. Among the things that we have discussed today, national, as a matter of national, national for national discuss, uh, how uh, security agents chiefs are taking out money leaving people hungry. Somebody from uh, NDLA, from our DG, was the one who was giving that kind of distance. So for, for us to make our system good, it's good to lay out the fundamentals of what a normal system should be, and then we we'll follow with other question of funding. The Federal Road Safety Corps had launched body cameras for its patrol operations. It is believed that it has the potential to better document encounters between officers and citizens while mitigating competing concerns about their potential for misuse or abuse. A matter surrounding 2023 general elections. I don't know about you, but I am one of those that think online voter cards registration is seamless and a better process. But in this report, the House of Representatives has urged INEC to conduct physical registrations across the country. It also asked INEC to increase the time frame of the new voters registration across Nigeria. Honorable Abubakar Yaleman from Jigawa State moved a motion at plenary on Thursday, he suggested that INEC conduct fresh physical registration across the country. While debating the motion, he said many constituencies have been displaced due to non-availability of registration centers and officials. Insufficient operational tools and equipment, among others, are also a drawback for successful conduct of elections. Honorable Yaliman said if the voter registration exercise is concluded without addressing these challenges, many citizens will be disenfranchised in the forthcoming election. The concern that my constituency, my federal constituency, and many other federal constituencies have been placed at disadvantage position due to the non availability of registered voters, centers, and officials inadequate power supply, insufficient official tools and equipment, as well as inadequate enlightenment program. The effect of this 
are no figure recorded within the constituencies. The cold on INEC to concede that the current reality is on the ground in most constituencies by deploying both physical and virtual processes in the proposed voter registration. That we adopt this motion as our own motion because, like I said, it has spoken directly to the concerns we have about registration. It is a motion also that seeks to address some of the deficiencies and major concerns of our electoral procedures and our voting system. Not up to 10%, Mr. Speaker, have access to what INEC are using now to do the continuous voters' registration. Mr. Speaker, until and unless the physical enumerators like it is done in the past, INEC are advised or compelled, in other words, to ensure that they employ ad hoc staff to go the four angles of Nigeria and ensure that they have captured citizens of this country who are eligible, who is not a privilege for them to participate in the forthcoming election. If you look at the, st the statistics of last year and the statistics of this year, you'll find that, that it's almost more than 10 times more people were registered manually by this time last year. So online registration hasn't helped us. So we need to not only ensure that we mix both physical, manual, and online at the same time, which means I'm not going physically to all the voting uh, centers and uh, uh, make sure that there's time enough. The motion was passed when put to vote by the Speaker. He mandated the House Committee on Electoral Matters to ensure compliance and report for further legislative action. On boy child education, everyone, including the community, have a huge role to play in educating the boy child as it would help in stemming societal ills. Thus, we are the words of the wife of the Lagos State Governor, Dr. Ibijoke Songwolu, at the second day of a three day workshop on the boy child initiative. Lovi Kukuyedo covered the workshop for Plus TV News. Better informed, we do best. Better informed, we do better. Better informed, we do better. Better informed, we do better. a message from this workshop. The theme speaks volume. The 21st century boy child speaking with confidence. Wife of Lagos State Governor, Dr. Ibijokesa Wonlu blames the society for robbing the boy child of his confidence. She wants this narrative changed. A lot, a lot of, of things, things are happening. They're painting, They're painting the boy, boy child bad. He's, He's always bullying. bullying. He's a He's macho, macho man. That's, That's the only thing we hear about them. them. We, uh, okay, okay, maybe one, one of them became president, president governor, governor, but the, the story and the picture we're, we're having out there, there is not good. And we want to change the narrative. We want them to know that the boys are also very useful men. The boys are going to become men. And boys have emotions too. Everyone is unique, so says the First Lady, who insists no child should be underestimated but be given all needed support for them to realize their full potentials. For us in the community, we have a lot of work to do. We are going to be the community parents, community police officers ourselves, to ensure that every child goes to school. It doesn't pay us when one child is left behind. It might be that child that is roaming the streets, the most brilliant but doesn't, doesn't have the opportunity, have the opportunity to, go to go to school. The Commissioner for Health, Question Professor Akin Abayomi, boosts the morale of the students. I'm not saying don't have an interest in life, but let's make sure that you are focused. Let's have your, what is your focus? Your focus is to become a professional, to add value to society, to add value to yourself, so that when I buy your services, I'm going to be buying at, at a, a high, high rate. rate. These boys are ready to take up challenges and be problem solvers. Readers of today are leaders of tomorrow. When you take your time to read, work hard in the early age, then definitely you achieve your goal. They should be of themselves. They should not allow anyone to define them. The esteem they have for themselves will be the one to determine their long way. Speakers at the event advise the boys to be wary of the company they keep in order not to jeopardize their future. From Badari, Lagos, Love Ikuku Uyeduku, Plus TV News. Now the thrust here is that just like girl child, boy child deserve all the care 
attention, training, and most importantly, discipline that they can get for a better society. It's nine time for a short break. We will be right back with more.